Tomorrow in San Jose, a federal court will conduct a preliminary hearing in the case of four animal rights activists who've become known as the AETA4. An attorney for the group says it's more than animal rights at stake in the case, but also freedom of speech. The four defendants are the first to be charged under legislation that took effect last year, the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. The four carried out protests outside the homes of UC Berkeley and UC Santa Cruz researchers who carried out experimentation on animals. Bob Bloom is the attorney for one of the offendants. He says the AETA is clearly unconstitutional. There's a new statute that took effect last year called the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. Everything is terrorism. So what these people are accused of doing is in pursuit of uh, protecting the rights of animals, they did the most horrible things of all. They uh, stood in front of the homes of uh, animal researchers and they picketed loudly to expose them to their neighbors. That's what they did. And that's what the government and this statute uh, has decided uh, is enough to be called a terrorist and prosecuted as a terrorist. What are the charges against them? The charges are violation of the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act and conspiracy to commit to, to violate that statute. And the facts that are alleged is that they pick it, they find out the names of uh, animal researchers, they found out their home addresses, they went to their home addresses, and they picketed on the sidewalks and in the street, and they wrote. Uh, words in chalk on the sidewalks and on the street. That's what they're accused of doing. That is First Amendment protected activity and is not a crime. So that's what you'll be saying in court tomorrow? There, tomorrow we'll be heard on our motion to dismiss the indictment because the statute is unconstitutional. So that will be argued tomorrow. And um, there are very good grounds for the motion. Of course, we don't know what the judge is going to do. Uh, we'll see. Have people uh, been sentenced to, to prison terms or, or heavy fines under this act before? No, this is no, no. This is the very first prosecution in the entire country under this statute. Now, there was a previous statute that was, I think, called the Animal Enterprise Protection Act, and some people were sent to prison for activities involving the use of internet and that happened in a trial in the federal court in New Jersey. Some really good people who were doing nothing but trying to protect animals and, ex and expose the fact about a particular research lab that was engaged in particularly egregious activities. So that's a previous statute but this is the very first prosecution under this statute and the government and Congress and President Bush uh, felt that if you call people terrorists, it makes it really hard for them to get a fair trial. That's what this, that's one of the things this is about. Bob Bloom is an attorney representing Joe Gutenberg, one of the AETA4 defendants. He says fighting the act is vital for the sake of preserving free speech rights for all activists. Tomorrow's hearing begins at 9 a.m. in the federal courthouse, 280 South 4th Street, excuse me, 280 South 1st Street on the fourth floor.